Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we are here in the name of Jesus Christ, gathering together. Father, we receive your words. Because we, believe, we believe you all your words, the spirit of life, Lord. We want to feel your words in our heart to be strengthened by you, Lord, so that we may be able to uh, uh, li live in a uh, coming week, you know, uh, overcoming the world, Lord, overcoming, overcoming all the gates of hell. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, let me read the book of Psalm 126. When the Lord turneth again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then words our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with the singing. Then said they among the heathen, The Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goes forth and whippeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Okay, uh, the main scripture uh, related to today's sermon in the book of Genesis uh, chapter 1, okay? Let me read chapter 1, verse 17 uh, through 19. Uh, 11 to 13. Excuse me, 11 to 13, okay? And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the hob yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. Yeah, on the day of creation of all things, God created all the grass and vegetables, herbs, and trees yielding fruit to the earth and gave them seeds to multiply on the earth. He also gave seed to all the creatures that dwell on the waters and to all the birds with wings, saying that they should be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of the sea. He also gave uh, seed to cattle and creeping animals and animals that dwell on the earth and let them multiply. Yeah, on the sixth day, at last, he made men and women according to God's image and his likeness. He also blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion of the fish of the sea and of the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God gave the seed to the person who created it in his own image. Giving the seeds to the creation, God has given them life. Life is opposite of death, and God gave life unto eternity. But all the creatures, including men, are no longer able to see the eternal life without dying. But the will of God is that all things created by him, including men, should not die and not corrupted either, but to multiply in heaven and on earth forever. And God established a timely plan to restore all things for them to have eternal life again, and he is still working on it. All these things written in the words of God. That's the reason we have to study words of God deeply in details. The seed of life that God has given all creation, including man, is no longer the seed of life, eternal life, but the seed of death and corruption. 
and the God will restore life to all creatures, including man. He is still working on it. The scripture testifies and say, For the ways of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. In other words, it is the law of righteousness of God that when sin is committed, life turns into death. Of all the creatures God created, only man sinned. And even all other creation that did not commit sin, but their seed die and are corrupted also. God told the first man who sinned about the, about the reason why. Why they lost, you know, life. God said to Adam, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded tree a deed, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee. And thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of the face, thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And he said, Because of transgression of man, all other creatures living on the earth are cursed by man's sin. But God knows that all these curses are due to the sin of the serpent that is the devil and he will destroy. God will destroy the devil that brought sin in due time so that he may give life to man in accordance with the law of righteousness. He has decided to give identity of the Son of God to them who believe in him. In addition to this, the seeds given to all other things are also to be restored unto life. In the first book of the Bible, Genesis, including man, is written about the loss of life as a whole, but the last book of the Bible, Revelation, records the restoration of all things. Apostle John testified of his words. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that of a kindness shall inherit all things that I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Jesus, the God who spoke in this word, he died to get rid of the sin and death and curses brought by the devil and cried before he died and said, in the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believes on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believed him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified, because he had not yet been given glory for them, because he has not yet been glorified. Yeah. And Jesus died for our sins and resurrected, right? He sent, you know, Holy Spirit. Whosoever believed in him received to receive Holy Spirit, right? That is what? The fountain of living water. You think you're from your belly of uh, living water flowing out every day? Everyone born as a descendant of Adam is born with a dead seed. 
Even if they are married and have children, they will inherit the seed of death. The only way to save the dead seed is to take the life unto the dead sea. No by technologist in the world can save even his own dead sea. God has already proclaimed this truth 2,000 years ago. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. To receive eternal life, we have to receive his word. That is correct. Everyone, he lives with a certain kinds of thirst in their heart. However, one does not know who, what the thirst is. Only one, uh, one day, he will find himself in the bondage of death, knowing that he is thirst for eternal life. The Bible also testifies that the creatures that are slaves to corruption. For the honest expectation of the creature work away this for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity and willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of the corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Creatures who have not sinned, but they are to die because of man's sin. They hope for the day when men believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be the children of God through the receiving the Holy Spirit. At that time, they are also to be freed from death and corruption, just like the children of God. You know, God told Job, make question on him. But ask now the beast, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee, or speak to the earth, and it shall teach thee, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. If you don't understand the words of God, why don't you ask, you know, beast and fowls? And also, fishes, they shall teach you. Oh yeah, what a weird thing it is. God had to appear in the image of Adam to take away the sins and death and curses to give life unto the whole world, to give the seed of life to all things he created, including man. Apostle Paul testified of all the creatures that are looking for the Lord Jesus Christ to appear in order to restore all things and the hope of the children of God. Apostle Paul testified saying, For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travails in pain together until now. Can you see that? Yeah. All creation, you know. Travel, travails, and growing because of the sin of man. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves growing within ourselves. Even born in Christian groaning because we're living in a sinful world. Waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. Yeah, waiting for the day of rapture, you know, taking off, putting off the you know, sinful body to have a new body, spiritual body, incorruptible, in, immortal body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is sin is not hope. For what a man sees, why does he yet hope for? But if we hope for the we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. We got to be patient, waiting for the Lord. Everyone born as descendant of Adam is born with the dead sea, even if they are married and have children. They will inherit the seed of death. The only way to save the dead sea is to take the life unto the dead sea. No biochemical uh, bi uh, uh, biotechnologist in the world can not save, not, cannot save even his own dead sea. God has already proclaimed this truth. 2,000 years ago. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is a spirit that quickens the flesh profit nothing. 
the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. That is correct. When we accept the words of the gospel of Christ, the spirit and the life, we are able to bear many spiritual children when we proclaim Jesus Christ, the seed of this life, through the regeneration of the spirit and died from the Lord Jesus Christ. It is to be blessed to become children of God through the Lord Jesus Christ, the last Adam. King Solomon, who received the wisdom of God, testified of this. Yeah, we are born as, you know, seed of Adam. We are no more than seed of Adam. We are the seed of Jesus Christ. That is the last Adam. Spiritually, we are not seed of Adam. We are seed of Jesus Christ of God. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he does sin when his soul is wise. If we are born again, you are righteous. Then you are the tree of life. Apostle Peter testified about incorruptible seed. Being born again, not, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which delivers and abides forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as a flower of grass, the grass withers and the flower thereof falls away, but the word of the Lord endures forever, and this is the word which by the gospel are preached unto you. That means, you know, you receive the gospel of Christ, believing Jesus Christ died for your sins sincerely, and buried and rose again for you to send Holy Spirit. Then you will receive seed of incorruption, immortality. That is eternal life. Then living water will flow out from your belly wherever you go. When you preach the gospel to your friends, you know, living water flow out from your belly. They go, they going to, they they gonna, you know, are just satisfied with their thirst. I bless all of you to this kind of glorious life, this kind of joyous life, powerful life in the world. Amen.